Hey YouTube Watcher, Circle here. Just want to give you a quick update on my Skylake uh, build and how I got my Skylake 6500 overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Um, here I just added a GeForce GTX 970. It's the super super clocked version. Hopefully I'll get some white sleeves in soon. I definitely want to fix this up uh, with the cable management. <clears throat> just tired of looking at that ketchup and mustard cables but um yeah so, so in order for me to overclock my CPU I actually had to search through forums uh, to get a different BIOS version because the one off the MSI was not working for me um, it was not disabling the Intel Turbo Boost so after searching I was able to find this website and I'll leave the links down below in the description in case um, you're having the same issue I'm having but um, I'm just going to tell you what the issue I was having is um, it was not disabling the Intel Turbo Boost which is it allowed me to change the clock speed in the BIOS but when I get to Windows it was still reading at 3.2 GHz so you want to click on the link below of this where it says supported models and when you click on that link it's basically going to take you to this page where it's going to download um, a zip file containing all basically all the versions of the BIOS for the MSI motherboards uh, once you get it downloaded you want to go to that folder make sure that folder says update 210116 uh, I guess that's the last time they updated this folder and if you go into that, that folder, you're gonna look for your BIOS version. I um, your yeah, yeah, your motherboard um, version. Mine was the Z178. Uh, so basically, you're just gonna take that BIOS that's in that folder, extract it to a flash drive, and just go ahead and flash your BIOS. Now, as I said off the MSI website I took the latest BIOS it, you won't find it on there I don't know why um, but um, if you download the one from off the MSI website it's a different version it's the it's it's a A60 I believe yeah, I'll show you this. see this is the one off the website A60 it wasn't disabling my Intel Turbo Boost um, but the other version which is off the forum is A6T that's the one you want so you can flash your motherboard with this one and like I said I assume that you guys know how to flash your motherboard if you, um, the best way to do it is just go through mflash save this on a flash drive reboot your computer to the BIOS use mflash and it should automatically update your BIOS to this version now I'll show you here. I already got mine updated. See the BIOS version up to the right. This is an A6T. The build was January 13, 2016. So that's the latest one off the forum. Not from the MSI website. You want to get this off the forum. And I already overclocked it to 4.2. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just testing it out it's before I go higher. Uh, so over here you can see where I changed the CPU base clock at 132 and down below that see there see how it disabled the Intel Turbo Boost and the EIST it's disabled before with the other version BIOS I was not able to disable it and I think that's why when I boot up to Windows um, my CPU Z was still showing the 3.2 stock and it was actually using a turbo boost at the 3.6 um, but yeah this one let me disable it um, right now all I'm doing is increasing the bus speed I'm just hitting the up power the plus arrow I mean the plus button on the keyboard uh, to get it at f about 4500 megahertz even for all right so for our bus speed we're gonna stop right at 140.64 and that would just give us right at 4500 megahertz uh, the DRAM frequency I left it at 2813 now you could probably, you might probably want to keep it at 24 to around 2600 
Um, if you experience any crashes in your windows, when you get to windows, you might, like I said, and you have it at 2,800, you might want to just put it down to 2,400 to 2,600. Um, all I did uh, CPU core voltage, I just changed it to 1.35. So disabled the turbo boost, increased my clock speed. Um, I left my DDR2800, but you might want to just keep it at 2400, 2600. And CPU core voltage 1.35. Now, as you can see, I just rebooted my CPU and at 4.5, 2813 megahertz DDR speed. And the temperature is at 47 degrees, which is uh, about 6 degrees jump from when I had it at 4.2 degrees. I mean, 4.2 gigahertz, which is not bad. Uh, I guess this water cooler is doing a pretty good job. Um, here I booted up to desktop, uh, and you can see I'm um, pretty much stable at 4,500 MHz. Uh, and the bus speed is at 140.64, 60, 64 MHz. The multiplier stays the same, but because of course that only gets changed for those K versions, overclockable CPU like the 6600K or the 6700K. Uh, the only problem is the temperature when you move to the Windows desktop the temperature doesn't read properly why I just don't know um, but yeah pretty much stays at 100 degrees which I know is not right um, uh, it's just whatever you use I use other monitors and it's still showing 100 degrees temperature so yep that's it uh, I did run the Intel utility burn test at maximum for about 10 minutes did not experience any crashes my computer has been stable been playing some max settings uh, AAA games on here so uh, no issues there so hopefully this um, video helps somebody with the same issue that I was having um, I'm overclocking the 6500 with this particular motherboard um, if you have any other questions just leave them down in the comments below until next time, so long YouTube watchers.